In the case of Lusaka, about 1.7 million of our people are not connected to a sewer connection, which means that they rely heavily on on-site sanitation. Now, while this can just be a statistic, it also means that the chances of contaminating our groundwater are very, very high because most of these people are relying on pit latrines, which are in most cases unlined. And they also rely on shallow wells, which means that the very water that they are drinking is the very water that is contaminated with the fecal matter. So every year we are experiencing repeated cases of cholera. Many people are dying. The amount of investment that government makes in trying to respond to cholera is so much compared to what can be done if we actually address the problem. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of challenges in the sanitation sector in Osaka, but the good thing is it looks like now we also have solutions. We have uh, about 10 to 15 percent of the city being serviced by sewers. And then we have the rest of the city on one form or another of non-sewer sanitation. The situation is that for a long time, uh, the non-sewer bit of the sanitation chain has not been managed. Through our partnership with Water and Sanitation for the Urban Poor, they gave us an idea of starting fecal sludge management where toilets could be emptied. And that was the beginning of this sanitation journey. We work with Lusaka Water and Storage Company in three main ways. The first is that we demonstrate models with them. So we will try a model at a smaller scale and try to see if that model can be viable. And when the model is viable, then we will help them to mobilize resources to be able to take that model to scale. I can give an example, for instance, of figure slash business that we tried in Kanyama and Jinchazanga, which we started in 2013. So what we did as WhatsApp is we mobilized resources from funders and we set up the very first fecal sludge treatment plant here in Lusaka. Lusaka Water entered into a delegated management contract with what we call Water Trust. So Water Trust are community-based organizations. So the Water Trust became an agent for the provision of FSM services. We as WhatsApp have been supporting them in terms of business development, we've been supporting them in terms of capacity building, as well as on the technical bit of things. It's, it's sanitation, yes, but it's a business. And if it's a business, you need professional people to, to run it, to account for whatever revenue that is coming in and also the expenditures. This is why I found myself in this business, to see that we do not uh, spend more than what we collect. So when that project proved to be viable, uh, Lusaka Water and Storage Company, through what is called the Lusaka Sanitation Program, were able to mobilize uh, resources from uh, development banks. And what happened is that now they've taken that project to scale. So what started as a model from the WhatsApp side of things is now gone to citywide. Lusaka Sanitation Program, I look at it as um, the solution to our problem, the beginning of the solution, because it doesn't just focus on sewerage, but what is interesting for us is having on-site as a component. The program is, is supporting Lusaka Water to come up with uh, a business model for operation of uh, non sewer sanitation. And then also, in addition to the business model, there's infrastructure that is being built as well as uh, uh, sanitation marketing and hygiene promotion among the communities. If you look at what is happening, we have a lot of solutions that are coming up and the good thing is we have government backing. So there's government support in the implementation of the solutions to addressing the sanitation systems that we have in the city. I think it's an exciting time for, for Lusaka because I think we're one of the few cities to be able to take fecal storage management to scale. And this is the greatest success story for us. What started in 2013 as a model, demonstrated in only two peri-urban areas, is now going citywide, meaning that our beneficiary numbers are going to increase.
many people now will be able to access this FSM service. I've been happiest working in sanitation. Walking around the communities in Lusaka and just seeing how their faces light up when we bring a new innovation, it's, it's so rewarding. I can't compare it to anything else. 